Rapping the food chain, rapping with the rat tail King sanitation, covered at the trap mail Murderous assassins, a rap in a black man Yo guys, what is going on? Tempest here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. So, in today's video guys, I'll be teaching you how to make a really cool like button that will pop up on your screen. And it's going to be in the style of Morgs. Um, it's a really, really cool button, well not button, but just like an image that you can put on your YouTube videos and it'll just encourage your viewers to hit the like button. Or, well, whatever you want it, them to do, you can maybe put subscribe, comment, um, follow on like social media and stuff but I'll just be showing you how to uh, well you can just do what you want but I'll be just doing the, the like button so yeah it's really really easy to do and it does look very nice um, so yeah let's get right into it I'm gonna open a 1280 by 720 document right here if it'll load geez that was slow but ah oh well okay it's done two let's close one of them right Okay, so uh, I'm just going to keep a white background for now, but before we go any further, I'm just going to add a new layer. Um, in fact, no, just add some new text. So go to the text layer, and you want. Um, I'm going to use quite a, quite a bold and condensed font because um, that'll ki that kind of works best with what we're doing. And it's being quite slow right now. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm going to put. Um, Okay, there we go like the video and we're going to be using white as the font but for now I'm just going to change it to somewhere else and the font that I will be using is Antonio bold it's a very nice font um, very reliable I use it quite a lot um, so what you want to do why is it being so slow bring it into the middle and then what you want to do is just right click on the layer rasterize type and then add another new layer bring it below then press control and click on the little thumbnail for like the video go to select modify expand and we're just going to test it out yeah i think i think 15 will do pretty well and basically you want to choose a color so um the one the color Morgs uses is like a red, orange, and pink type color. So I'm gonna go with like a blue, different colors of blue. And then you want to press Alt Backspace on the new layer. And then we're gonna change the font color to back to white, which is what we wanted. Like so. Um, and yeah, you get this little effect right here. But we're not done yet because we want to kind of fill in all these little gaps. And we're gonna do that by adding a rectangle. We just want to click and drag all the way along until it gets to the end. Make sure it's the same length. And then bring it below everything. Make sure it covers all parts. You don't want anything sticking out. So right here, gonna bring that down one. Bring that to the right one pixel bring it up one bring this to the left all the way so you've got that but you're thinking what's the point you might have, might as well have just added a rectangle in the first place but what we're going to do now is we're going to change the colour of that to something like that you can make the box on the outside a little bit bigger I might just do that by holding sh uh, shift and alt and then click on the corner do the same that way you just want to mess around with it and then we want to double click on the layer behind the text so the light blue color or whatever color you've got you want to go to gradient overlay in fact no well you can do gradient overlay and add some cool different shades but I think I'm gonna add a new layer create clipping mask and basically you want to get different colors of that blue so maybe I'll, I might go for like a turquoise color 
and then get a brush and I press control all right click and move left and right to change the size of my brush if you don't know already so maybe something like that a green over there and then maybe a purple something like that it's pretty cool and then I'm just going to press Control E to merge all that together. And then the rectangle, it, rectangle in the background, I might change the colour of that to something a bit lighter. So now you get that. And you can also change the colour, I mean the blending mode of the, the layer behind the text to something else. To make it fit more. But I think I'll keep it the same. So once you've done that, it's going to group it all together. So if I just go to over to his video, you can see right there, that's what it looks like. It's kind of the same, but it's got some like different brush patterns in the background. You can get that off Google or if you have a brush, um, like a brush stroke. I don't know, do I? I don't think I do. Now, I don't have any of them, but if you guys do have that, then probably best to do that. And then you may, maybe you want, if you want, you can press Control T, duplicate it, then Control T, then rotate it a little bit, the one behind it, and then make it a bit darker or something. So you get this cool effect like that. Then obviously you'd go at the bottom and you'd save it as a PNG, but what else could we do to it to make it look better? Maybe you could do something like this. Bring it back up to the middle, control J, filter, stylize, find edges, press press control I, and then maybe something like screen or colour dodge. Colour dodge looks quite good, and then bring down the opacity of it. And it just highlights all the different um, outlines of the text and then if you press ctrl e to merge it you could add, add some final effects like a gradient overlay make it black to white and then set that to overlay maybe change the angle bring down the opacity of that maybe add an inner glow change it to overlay maybe add a drop shadow And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. That's how to make a really cool like button like Morgs. Remember you can also add um, you can also add um, like a brush stroke behind it and also you don't have to put like the video, you maybe put subscribe, um, comment below, you know, all that type of stuff. And yeah, you can also change the colour if you want, press control U. If you don't like it, change it to somewhere else. It's totally up to you guys might just keep it like that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button subscribe if you are new around here and also let me know down below in the comments what video you'd like to see from me next you guys know i'm always reading the comments thanks so much for the sick support recently guys it really does mean a lot and yeah just keep it up and more videos coming soon and with that all being said guys i hope you're all having a sick day today and i'll see you in the next video